Between 1959 and 1968, Jean-Luc Godard made 17 feature films. Breathless, Le Petit Soldat, A Woman is a Woman, My Life to Live, Le Carabinier, Contempt, Band of Outsiders, The Married Woman, Alphaville, Piero Le Fou, Masculine Feminine, Made in USA, Two or Three Things I Know About Her, La Chinoise, Weekend, Le Gay Savoir, One Plus One. After the events of May 1968, Godard began working with the Ziegewertoff Film Group. In two years, Godard and the film group produced five films. A film like any other, See You at Mao, Pravda, East Wind, Struggle in Italy. During the spring of 1970, Godard toured America, accompanied by Jean-Pierre Gorin, another principal member of the Ziegewertoff film group. The tour was undertaken in order to finance the completion of their latest film, Till Victory, or Methods of Thinking and Methods of Work in the Palestinian Revolution. images and as movie maker, as militant movie maker, we have to try to work to, to, to work with more the Hollywood system, the whole uh, ideology of the Hollywood system uh, which is everywhere. It's to bring to the people lo a lot of images and so many that you absolutely don't see nothing. Like here you see a lot of uh, Vietnam uh, picture on TV but you, you, you really don't see nothing on TV. Uh, about Vietnam, you, you see nothing because there is too many. And so each one ca is cancelling the other one, there is too many. It's quantity and not quality. So we have to find again how to build uh, a quality image. Because how to build quantity image uh, that we know. So we have to, to, do to destroy what we know. And uh, Hollywood is doing it then a lot of image and no sounds. Always same sounds everywhere. So we have to work on complexity from the sound point of view and to work on our simplicity from the image point of view for, for a moment, for a few years, for a few films, and then uh, we'll know where we are coming. That is to, it's just a, pragma a pragmatic, but it came from experience. Look what the enemy is doing. He's using a lot of image 
and uh, very few sounds. So we have to, to do ex the exact contrary for the moment. Besides, we don't, <coughs> we don't make this in the matrix, do we? We, we know, no more going and fetching images. Um, we know that an image is an image and nothing more. So you have to build the image and to build it politically. That means a, a complete new process of making films and a very difficult one. So it took us seven films to go some step forwards at the point we are now. To, to quit fiction, to I mean the old in. fiction, and to go back to try to, to bring new fiction, because uh, of course images and sound are, are for fiction. Yeah, it's not real, it's fiction. An image and a sound are, have nothing real. You can't touch it, you can't smell it. It's not reality, it's fiction. That's why in France very often uh, they say, uh, we look at America and look at their democratic tea way of telling news. Not at all. It's, it, it's a different way of doing things, but only in quantity, not in quality. L look at what happens with the war in Vietnam. You have seen uh, nothing. Well, I, I, I think... I think we well, have seen... Is the people, is the people, is the people here, is the people here begin uh, even uh, middle class people non-politicized non at all. We began to say, uh, let's get out of Vietnam. Uh, it is just because they are losing. That's all. It's not. They have seen a hundred of uh, horrible images on screen. For years. For years and years and years. It's because the people who were in Vietnam is. But just because now they are realizing they are really no, losing, no, losing no. something. So why why stick up to something which is uh, of no more fun for the moment? Let's well, get out. Wouldn't you say, well, on a relative basis, but wouldn't you say that on American television we've, saw, we've seen more of Vietnam than you saw on French television yes, by Algeria? Yeah. But, yes, but uh, you don't think that's important? That doesn't have no, any no, because, because, because when it's better to see no image, because when you see no image at all, it's enough to see one after. And that's what's happened in France. The, the lack of image was... Uh, you think it was beneficial, beneficial in other words? Strongly, strongly... In, 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 a way, in a way, in a way, yes. Because you don't, want, you don't get immunized to it, that's it, when yeah. you sit in it. It's just like uh, morphine or nothing else. Yeah. You, you have no... You, no, you are completely... Uh, come and see look, nobody looks at TV, nobody well, looks at paper, life, look at no. the New York Times tomorrow. You have a... Uh, you are not reading the New York Times. So why to produce it? Why to print it? Nobody reads it. I mean entirely. So why? It's no use. Yes, it's a use for them. No, it's a use for them, of course. It's a quantity. It's a quantity world. Images and sound. Uh, it's like literature. It's a quantity world. And since we have discovered that, but all, 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 all culture, culture is proliferating anyway. You have thousands of records, well, well, thousands why, of films. That's why, I mean, for example, that's why we can learn a few things, even in our very specific condition, from the Chinese Revolution. Because the Chinese Revolution, they have not hundreds of books, they have one. Which is good for everyone, because everyone brings his own subjectivity into, into well, this objectivity. Do, do you see many movies now? Any movies? No more. No more. Point. point <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> what do you think of Zabriskie Point? Nothing. What can we think? What do you think of this ashtray? <laughs> <laughs> that is, it, it has cost a lot of money. Yes, and how, how much and we could have been living on it for <laughs> years, Six doing hundreds of film. And Six million, yes. Six million. <laughs> Just to blow up frigidaires. <laughs> What is it you object to it? It's a pure establishment movie. Com 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 completely. Boring, pornographic, no use. No, I'm more interested to, to see the pornographic movie in uh, 42nd Street. That's an absolutely counter revolution. Well, you feel that Ant like Antonioni, for example, and Fellini, or anybody that's doing what are in fact commercial films. But there is no difference between, uh, between Zanuck and Antonioni. Yeah, and 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 absolutely right. not. Well, that makes the anime pretty big. Oh, the anime is big, yeah. <laughs> 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 you know. 
is big and fat, but you know, uh, people. But, but that lecture position sound, you know, more anarchistic than anything else. No. So no. what the hell was no. anarchism? We, no. we are not anarchists at all. No, maybe I was. I was, uh, I was, but I'm trying. It looked like that, and I, I uh, and it was not even anarchist uh, the way. Uh, so what is called anarchist in uh, the political uh, movement? No, no, we, no, we fight ourselves inside ourselves to not to not to be. Everybody thinks he's uh, because he he's in a room, in a in a house, in a city, in a state. He knows where he, where he is. This is not true. He just thinks because uh, he's speaking or he's existing, he knows where he is. What makes him move? What are the forces who make him speak and move like that? Well, it's been a very, it's been a very uh, exciting ten years for a great many people. Um, and I suppose now you, you probably, you're going to run into a great many people who, and there are some people here in the United States, for example, who treat this whole period that you're in as a, what they call a difficult period for you, or a period of adjustment, or readjustment, or something, and they want to know where the old, you know, Jean Luc Godard is. Now, do you feel that you've always been moving into this direction, or is this something? I mean, do you do you feel any there's this continuity with your own career up to this point? I mean, do you feel that from breathless to now there is a link? How can uh, I mean uh, if uh, if Rockefeller's son is becoming uh, one of the leader of uh, the revolution? It will take him uh, more years, much more years, <laughs> that uh, some uh, black tyranny uh, in the ghetto. But there is this feeling. Uh, but 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 it, it's it's more likely that Rockefeller's son. You know, that, that a revolutionary would be someone like Rockefeller, son, the son of somebody like that, then somebody from the ghetto. Very often. We have to know first because I, I escaped when I when I uh, I was from a bourgeois family, a rich bourgeois family, and then I escaped from this bourgeois family by joining the, the show business. And then it took me quite a lot of years to discover that the show business was a bigger bourgeois family than the one uh, I escaped from. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't even discover it, I just uh, felt it. And just now I'm beginning to discover what kind of bourgeois family it is. So I have to study, you have to study it and to even trying to escape it, but to study it and not pretending we can uh, create a liberated area uh, by that, oh, which I thought when I was only two or three years ago. Well, the classical question for revolutionary is ultimately, can it be, you know, can the actual medium working with a camera, can that be an instrument of revolution or doesn't ultimately you have to pick up a gun or a bomb? No, it depends on the specific situ it depends on the specific situation. The situation in France uh, is not at all a situation in uh, uh, Jordan and Israel uh, border, for example. Uh, it's completely di different in China. Uh, di completely different in Poland. Uh, so it depends on uh, what time we think that in France the main fight is uh, still uh, uh, the fight is on ideology, no, not on armed struggle for the moment. People like the weathermen in France, we can't, we can't disagree with them. If I disagree with them in France, which I do, not against violence in itself, but the fact they are using it in a wrong way without having really, and it happens with them now that they are only all in jail or obliged to, to hide, which is, uh, which is very bad. They should have hidden in the beginning, but not obliged by the police like the people here today. But here maybe it's different because the way violence is used every day by the dominant power, by Nixon and uh, the establishment, is really more open than in France. France or it's more, it's very violent too, but not really so, op open, so, so open that um, here. The, the problem and that's and so that the country is much bigger here, there is much more people, there is the uh, areas, there is really different areas between uh, Berkeley has nothing to do with Texas. In 
two or three years we might have to uh, not to make any more uh, pictures because we'll discover that by that time our, our the important things will not be the movie we will not to, to, to do to do a movie I mean that the situation the situation will change, change and then the movie will not even become a second report but uh, something not useful for the moment so you consider yourself the more, more revolutionary than a filmmaker working for the revolution uh, through a filmmaking through filmmaking just like a uh, not, not filmmaking, producing uh, ideology. Producing and ideology, yes. Yeah. And producing uh, a certain type of revolutionary ideology. It's so only on my passport when it is written a uh, movie maker, but really. I understand you, but you want people to talk about the political situation rather than about the film. About their, yeah, about their, about their, about their situation. situation. Which from a political, political point of view. Not from an individual point of view, but from a political point of view. And this is the task of any militant. If we have to do something here, we have to know what forces us to do it. If we need uh, money, for example, and if we can only get money from America and not for, from Italy, and uh, uh, or from, then we have to to come uh, to come here. But knowing what does it mean for us being obliged to come here for that reason and being in this situation, then to react, in s to I find out how, how to react. How to react that means how to build a movie from that situation yeah, right. and to know what to speak of. Is it more important to speak of uh, Elwich Cleaver, of uh, Wall Street, of uh, I mean, uh, which way? the building of a Chicano party in, uh, in Texas or things like that? We just can't say two years ago I will have just chosen like that. Oh, I will speak of the building of the Chicano party in, uh, in Texas and thinking I, w I will help the revolution just because I was doing that. Now we are just realizing we can't do that like, like that. Mm -hmm. That's what we call a like gigavert of uh, editing before the shooting. That means thinking. And uh, after that, we have a part, an historical part, because uh, nobody knows, because of the Zionist propaganda, almost nobody knows what has really happened in the Middle East since the uh, beginning of the century. Nobody knows about the Belfu Declaration. A lot of people still think that the Jews have the right, just because they were Jews and uh, crucified by Nazi, have the right to come into the Middle East and. Uh, just take the land or push uh, the people who want that land uh, out. So we are telling the story in a rather... We are trying to to learn really uh, what Bress says. Uh, he's an actor because it will be two Palestinian, two Palestinian fighter, a girl and a boy, who, uh, who are trying to tell the story of the Palestinian fight during uh, the beginning till now. Till now but not just historical dates, saying uh, this, at that date it was that and then what it, trying to say it in a, what Mao said, the logic of the people, and what is the logic of the people? It's to go from uh, fail to fight, fail, fight again, fail, fight again, till victory, and this is the logic of the people. And so we, there is the main date of the Palestinian uh, struggles in the beginning of the, the century. The date just said by the people, yeah, yeah, just two people speaking, two people speaking and acting sometimes. For example, for example, it's 19, uh, 19, uh, or 1956, which was the taking of the Suez Canal by Nasser, which is a very complex situation because for the West it was a victory on Nasser, for Israel too. For Nasser it was a victory on the West. And for the Palestinian, it was the, the first time the, the advance element of the Palestinian struggle began to realize in their own, in their consciousness, that they shouldn't uh, believe anymore in the so-called progressive Arab government. 
because they progressive and this is the way for example they, the, t the boy and the girl can say suppose that the boy say to the girl you are the Palestinian people I'm Nasser and uh, I'll speak for you this is a uh, acting this is fiction but this is the way you can make understand uh, that Nasser is not really speaking for the Palestinian and so we go on through the dates uh, main dates are and the main dates are 1936 because 1936. There was, that's the great Palestinian revolution which is almost unknown it was uh, it, it begins with a strike and it ends on with the uh, guerrilla warfare but it was crushed by the Federalist and uh, the British and the British and uh, after that 1965 which is the first uh, the first bullet shot by the people of El Fada, mil the military branch of El Fada, which is the El Asifa. And it was a very uh, small target they were aiming at, but all their problem was that the sound of the bullet could be heard by the peasants. Mm -hmm. And uh, it developed till 1966 when the Israelis began to, re to retaliate on uh, uh, villages on the border of Jordan. And at that time, uh, there were huge demonstrations, huge popular demonstrations all over the country to ask to back the guerrillas and to arm the to arm the villagers. So that's one of the dates at, uh, on, in which the ideas of the advanced elements of the Palestinian people merge with the feeling of the masses. It comes to 1968, which is Karameh. It is a battle of Karameh, which is the first victory over the Isia over Israel ever ever achieved by Arab uh, people and uh, not by the regular army but by the Palestinian fighter. There was about 500 Palestinian fighter in a Karameh village and there was a because of the beginning of their success uh, Israel wanted to give them a lesson so they massed 20,000 soldiers and intend to crush definitely the Palestinian uh, and then the uh, Fata and there was only Fata decide not to withdraw even because they need a political victory and even uh, they need a real political re victory and uh, it was that it was the first time they resist and the Israeli lost a lot of people and withdrew yeah. and it was for uh, the Israeli it was a minor it was a minor defeat I mean just nothing a technical defeat mm -hmm. but for all the Arab world it was a, a tremendous victory <coughs> because all the Arab masses felt really in their heart that there was a possibility of uh, winning against imperialism, winning mm -hmm. against... And that's why this date is so important. In fact, it shows all the originality of the Al Fata, Al Fata's line and strategy. Now it said when you, when the enemy attacks, you have to withdraw. And they knew at that time that they couldn't withdraw because they needed a political victory. Because the, the sound by Hollywood is the oppressed, uh, it's the oppressed tracks. There is, there is very rich image and very poor sound. For example, when the people are seeing uh, a movie like this one, they say oh, the image is very poor. And we say, what is a rich image? There is no rich or poor image, there is just images. And that's why we, have, we are working much more, we are working much more on the sound for the moment. And we try to oppose, uh, to work together with image and sound and try to relate, to link each other, but not, uh, not just like that, to relate that in a dialectic, in dialectic, to oppose them in order to form a new unity, which is a, a, a movie. The movie, the movie is just uh, the unity, second after second, of image and sound on a screen.
But what is a unity? A unity is not an addition of one thing to another, because this is no more an unity. One plus one makes two. We consider that uh, in one there is two things, two aspects, and this is dialectic, which oppose metaphysics. And the other thing is that it's as we, we discovered that an image was nothing more than an image and was not reality but something very abstract, we decided to build out of the screen, that means build out of the old ideology of the, the screening, the screen, to build the screen as a blackboard so that it will, you know, be a possibility for people not to be stabbed in front of a film but to, let's say, discuss and uh, we can't do that only because the films are closely related to the problems that us and we, as political actors of, uh, of a revolution, are involved in. If we, if we success into making a film a, a blackboard and nothing else than that, like this blackboard, the, f the place of the film is right here. But then it is your job instead of being uh, to see this blackboard and to work on it, it's your job as a stud uh, student not to be any more the same kind of student and so that workers can be able to come here. It's not to us to go to the factory because in a factory there is no place for blackboard for the moment. So after this historical part... So this is the first part, historical part. And after that, through Karame, through the victory of Karame, we present the Palestinian, the, fight, the struggle of the Palestinian people as a new political and revolutionary fact in the Middle East. And this new political revolutionary fact is related to all the anti-imperialist struggle all over the world. We have to relate it because it's fighting Zionism, because Zionism has been uh, presented as an agent, just as an agent for imperialism, is backed by imperialism. So the Palestinian struggle is just a part of the general struggle all over the world against imperialism. It's related to Vietnam, it's related to Laos, to Cuba, to South America, everywhere. And we have to present it that way. But again, instead of giving just a statement like there is no, there is only uh, Viet there is Vietnam, there is Laos, there is Cuba, we prefer just to show, to do it since we are doing movies, to try to, we thought of something, just let a Palestinian fighter look on a tape, on a videotape, on a screen, to some images of Laos, mm -hmm. for example, and just look at, look at it, because when the picture will be uh, shown in Laos, it will be the country, it will be the Laotian uh, soldier who who will do the, the exact contrary, to look at the, on the screen, on a fedayin. And so there is a, the big, a very simple relationship without telling uh, anything. And, and then we have images of a Chinese, of a Chinese movie. And why did we put the Chinese movie there? Because to explain that... Because China has already achieved yeah. what and the, the Laotians are still uh, yeah. struggling for. And the choice of armed struggle in their own situation, a reflection on the situation we have today, the split between the communist world into, in two lines, the Russian line, which is a let's say, peaceful line of peaceful coexistence, and the Chinese line, which is the real revolutionary, revolutionary line of armed struggle. And then after that, we have to uh, link ourselves to the, to the film as it is made, to link ourselves as French militants involved in the class struggle in France. And that's why we show uh, some shots of uh, uh, the May 68 events in, uh, in a factory, of, in a Renault factory near Paris, at Fleur, where there was the uh, first emerging between the students and the workers and a very uh, uh, strong opposition and violent action against the police. Yeah, that was uh, to show different kind of struggle against the imperialism. Mm -hmm. In the third world, where you have to go on armed struggle in order to liberate your, your own country, a place where it has been done, and they are still struggling, struggling uh, uh, there is still a cultural revolution going on uh, ideological struggle, and another place which inside 
capitalist or imperialist country where there is still the oppressed people which are fighting in a, on a completely differently conditions because they have no, they have no uh, country to liberate for, for the moment. I can answer you by quotation for once. Uh, 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 Marx said that uh, it's a remark of Engels on uh, old Marx uh, writing and the Engels uh, just wrote uh, that uh, he reminded an old quotation from Marx saying that uh, the first class struggle, the first example of class struggle was really the one between a man and a woman for pre procreation. So you can uh, think about that. <laughs> And I think that, uh, especially un unless we are liberated by women as men, as a movie maker, I will be in the impossibility of really doing something good and, uh, with and for, and for women. As a man, I need to be liberated by the women. That's, that is to say, by the, the people I colonize in my own personal life. Good. <laughs> So this is a uh, mere an introduction, clear, yeah. mm -hmm. and this is to place the anti-imperial stuff is to play the struggle within the old fight against the uh, imperialists, and then we begin with a, with a real uh, Palestinian uh, situation and the or originality of the Palestinian situation. How by thinking their own situation in a new way. Uh, the Palestinians have to transform themselves so to carry on with the struggle. But it's how the re Palestinian revolution is thinking and acting in a new way. So that's why we begin the picture with a meeting, a popular meeting. Because this is a meeting, a popular meeting, is uh, the expression of the revolutionary will of the people. And this revolutionary will uh, leads to armed struggle. That means that the people's army is the expression of the revolutionary will of the people. Uh, the people's uh, army can only uh, live and continue to go on if there is a uh, creative element of the people inside the army. The army of the people can only live and go on if there is an effort in order to develop the revolutionary capacity of the people. That means political work. That means the creation and the organization of a popular militia with all its works. And after that, there is a conclusion. If there is no armed struggle, there is no political uh, work. But if there is no political work, the armed struggle is just a usual, uh, military, uh, u usual military activity. So it means it's not really a people's war. If it's a people's war, it means armed struggle plus political uh, work equal a long, a long popular war. This is very important because uh, they are always telling to the to the children, we we will not reach the sea. Uh, maybe you will not, but your sons will. You the you're the generation of victory. So all this process is a process of fighting between the old and the new. In order to, to make a revolution in the Arab world, there is the Palestinian face and the Arab heart. And it's because of how the Palestinian face is thinking and acting that the Arab heart will beat in a new way, not in the old uh, traditional. traditional way. That is a to present the Palestinian revolution as, an, uh, as the advance and an advanced element of the whole Arab, uh, Arab world. Because the, the concrete situation is those people are in refugee camps in countries like Lebanon, uh, Jordan... Uh, there is Palestinian all over the Arab world. Well, we think now we have to go back to France, but we wish we could have uh, done that uh, uh, before. But the trouble then, even on my name, I couldn't raise any money anymore. And I had to go, to go out in some kind of, we have to go out some kind of like uh, in an exile to find the money where, 
where it was in order to even the, the, the very small money. We and, uh, but in another way, in another way, we thought it was not really harmful and it could be helpful in that sense that, as uh, Chairman Mao said, uh, let the stranger help the national. First question was to ask ourselves, where are we coming from? What makes you make an image a certain way, the way the, the man on the, with the camera is doing it now? And to realize what was our own ideological background, so we can build against the art of the ruling class, a new type of art, revolutionary art. Not to say anymore to take a picture, but to produce and to build a picture. And to produce a picture means that we have to know what production is, that there is means of production. And there is economic means of production, and then there is ideological means of production. What, what if he's a striker, what authorizes me to take a picture of him? He shall be able to produce a picture out of him. Do you feel you're pursuing artistic expression or political expression in your films? There is no such thing as an artistic expression, political expression. There only can be an artistic political expression. I mean the problem, uh, we're dealing with aesthetics as long as we're making movies, but we're dealing with a new type of aesthetic. But the problem is that you can't express a revolutionary content if you haven't got a revolutionary form and you have to build it, to build it against a long history of the form, which is the ruling class form. The Art form is not separated from politics because who is running California today? <laughs> it's an artist, a Western <laughs> artist called Ronald Reagan. That's the only one we wanted He's an to artist, deal with. Really? About political movie. If A. B. Hoffman or Jerry Rubin is doing a picture on the Chicago trial with Groucho Marx in the role of George Hoffman for Metro Goldwyn Mayer, it will just be a Metro Goldwyn Mayer militant picture. That means Metro Goldwyn Mayer picture. What can you say about the revolutionary struggle in America today? For Americans, what do you as Frenchmen, not part of America's culture, see that we can do to further the revolution? I, I can only answer into a very specific question. You have been asked to go to free, to free Bobby Seale, mm -hmm. so, free Bobby, so free Bobby Seale. There's always a question of modalities. How do you free Bobby Seale? The army is trying to keep him. That's your problem. And you have been told this afternoon about it. That's your, pro that's your problem. You are a student here. I don't know if you have to pay to be here or if you are here through scholarship, but you have to examine what is your own situation and then to learn from it. Do you want to change it? Do you think it's marvelous? Do you enjoy the life? So don't change it and support Nixon. If you, if you think you don't enjoy it enough, so free Bobby Seale. And then we go back again on a meeting. We begin with a meeting, but here at the beginning, the meeting, the meaning of the meeting, of a popular meeting, meeting can only mean the revolutionary will of the people, just a will, a feeling, a revolutionary feeling, that at the end, after having analyzed the armed struggle, after having analyzed the political work, to see a meeting again, we can call this meeting revolution till victory because there is much more in it and then we can cut with the meeting the shot of the meeting again the color we have seen in the very beginning but this time here at the very beginning the color is just a romantic poetic uh, expression you know mm -hmm. the way i told you peace uh, death of the enemy the blood and here the color, the same color, as a political contact because of what we have seen in the two or three previous sequence. And on this color, we are expressing the political program of El Fata. Seven points of the seven points of El Fata, which are coming from the, meet, from the real meeting, you see. From, from the armed struggle, from the political, from the, from the people involved in an armed struggle and a political work. So all the process of this part is that you begin to show an image that we, you will take again at the end. They are the, more or less the same images, 
But in fact, if you look to the second one, it appears completely different because of what's in between, all the work you've seen, all the political work you've seen. And in every sequence, we are doing the same. In the arm struggle, we start from an image, which is the Fedayin walking in the desert or in the woods to go in an, into an operation. And we deal with that images one, two, three, four, four, six times. And we cut, and we cut a simple images of what this walk really means. Politically. Politically. This walk means to start from a basis, <coughs> to start from the country. After that, we have a Fedayin answering to some question. <coughs> Fedayin, where are you coming from and why do you fight? And then again, the Fedayin walking, the march, long march. And then a group of Fedayin reading, and, uh, the, and then we hear the sound of a of a political uh, commissaire speaking, as speaking of Fedayin, who are you fighting? <coughs> the long march, the basis, what is a basis? The long march, what are you fighting for? The long march, against whom are you fighting? The long march, how do you fight? The long march, how do you fight again? In which, which means, how do you organize your everyday life in order to fight the way you have just told? That means how the people, uh, in which way the people's army is different from a regular army. What are the, the everyday, how do you change your everyday life? We end, we end with uh, emphasizing about the red, mm -hmm. because just to, the red is both a blood and a symbol for women too. So we have to emphasize uh, on the red. But uh, in, in the beginning, it was just red, blood. Now it's, it means revolution. <laughs>